Hey everyone, sorry to disappoint, but we're not going to be pumping water out of aquifers from hundreds of feet beneath the surface, but we are going to be having some fun experimenting with how different materials can filter out some nasty and unusable water. So here's the deal friends, in your kit this month you're going to find the mixture to make this nasty water, as well as some fun supplies that we're going to run some experiments with. And how this is all going to work is we're going to show you how to do a couple specific filters before you get the chance to make your own filter, a super filter if you will. And at the end, we're going to compare them in these little test tubes to see which one worked the best. We're going to walk through a little bit more of this setup in the next video, but how we do this is we give it a quick stir. We turn the top of the bottle over and put it inside the bottom, and then we're going to want to do our first experiment with a coffee filter. Go ahead and place it inside, hug it along the edges pour in a generous amount and then we'll wait. This is the part where we want to be a little bit careful so let's make sure to do any pouring over other bodies of water. What we want to do is take some of this water from the bottom, pour it inside the clear cup, then grab one of our test vials, open it up, again pour it over the top, but fill up this test tube and save it for later so we can compare it to other samples. The second time around, we're going to run through the exact same process, but this time with some small pebbles that we found in the backyard. We'll throw them in the bottom, pour some water over the top. The pebbles go by pretty quick. We'll pour it back in the cup and into the test tube. And we even marked our test tube, R for rocks. Be sure to take a sample of the original, friends, so you can see how well these filters are working. And the last one we want to do together is replace this gauze at the end. Pour it upside down and see how well it works by itself. I know it can be easy to forget to stir our mixture, but it is important, so try to remember that part, friends. And now it's up to you. Try to build your own super filter. In my case, I got creative and stacked a few different items on top of each other. But go outside, gather some sticks, some sand, anything that comes to mind, and see what you can come up with. Have a great one, friends, and we'll see you in the next video where we're going to set up this process for you.